Alright, so I wanted to talk about this um, since I saw Loso versus Bad News. Um, the idea got sparked again in my head when I saw A Ward versus DNA and uh, Loso versus Jims. Pretty much, I want to see <clears throat> somewhere down the line. Now, I'm not expecting this to take place tomorrow, the week after, next month, even next year. But somewhere down the line, I would like to see Christian battle rappers go to war, lyrical war, with other Christian battle rappers. So I would like to see, personally, the match that I want to see is uh, Loso versus The Saga. I don't know why stylistically, personality, stage personality and stuff like that, um, stage presence, charisma, whatever the case, I like the clash between Loso and uh, The Saga. But you can mix and match different Christian uh, matchups. I personally want to see some Christian clashes, though. The reason I'm saying this is because battle rap is a sport where you have to just be super creative 24-7. And people don't really have tolerance for, I'm not going to say the same material, but just material that's similar to something that might have been said two battles ago being used again in this type of battle. So... When you hear battle rappers spit versus Christian rappers, you know, and they say Adam and Eve bars, Cain and Abel bars, uh, Armageddon bars, Jesus Christ on the third day was this, and, you know, Christianity is XYZ type of negative things. A lot of times you'll see the Christian rappers just shaking their heads, you know, Pretty much just trying to downplay whatever their opponent was saying. Um, now, they're not the only people that do this. Battle rappers in general, if they hear a type of bar that was used in a certain type of context, similar to something else, you know, people shake their heads like, oh, you're reusing this type of bar. I've heard this already, heard this already, heard this already. People are very uh, critical with the type of content that battle rappers can, can use now. If you hear, If you say something today... That is similar, but very different the way you deliver it to something that was said yesterday. People are going to roast you. I heard that already. Oh my God, recycle material. So the fact that we're already, because Christian battle rap isn't necessarily like a, a veteran style in the sport, but at the same time, it's not a freshman. It's not a new, new class, not a new style. It's more so like a junior in its junior year. You know what I'm saying? It's been around for a few now. So... It's pretty standard now to see a Christian battle rapper versus a dude that portrays a gritty street image or just someone who's not a Christian. You know, it's uh, an easy matchup to make a Loso versus Bad News, an easy matchup to make uh, Chess versus the Saga, uh, Shotgun Shug versus the Saga, etc., etc., etc. So I feel as though in terms of creativity wise and just what I was saying before, it's only going to be a matter of time before pretty much a person taking a Christian angle is going to be met with nothing. But I've heard this already, you know, and vice versa, a Christian rapper spitting something about how you're not living your life on the right path and blah, blah, blah. My God, is this whatever the case over time? People are just going to be like, I've heard all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So to keep things fresh and just like I said, to push a person's pen. When it comes to Christian rappers, I feel as though it would really test their creativity and push their pen to put put uh, Christian rappers versus other Christian rappers. Like, what angle are you going to play when you're battling another Christian? You know, I don't really see dudes trying to get at your faith isn't real because of this. Maybe they would. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily think that certain dudes would be willing to put, like, you know, the topic of their faith versus another man's faith on the it's. That just, it just is different. You know, I don't really know what to expect. I feel as though that would push Christian rappers' creativity to a new level and also offer uh, for new lyrical material that we haven't heard before and that maybe we wouldn't even think that we would hear. Like I said, I'm just trying to plant, plant some seeds right now, um, see what happens down the road. I don't expect it to, you know, take place on the next, you know, Born Legacy card, whatever the case. But... I would really like to see some Christian rappers battle fellow Christian rappers and see what happens. Now, I know a lot of them, pretty much all of them probably, they might see this and be like, nah, you're bugging, I'm not battling the Christian. How dare you say that? Damn you to hell, whatever the case. Um, when it comes to crews, battle rap crews, gun titles, 
they battled. You know, NWX, bunch of dudes battled throughout NWX. You feel me? Um, Dot Mob, or former Dot Mob, Dot Mob, you know, there were clashes. You feel me? Like, uh, uh, Jersey has battled Jersey. You know, St. Louis has battled St. Louis. So I feel like the Christian rappers could also, down the road, battle Christian rappers. Um, I just think it'll be interesting, stylistically, why put good versus evil when you could just put good versus good and see what happens. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do you want to see Christian matchups go down um, in the future? Do you think that the Christian angle versus, you know, the street rapper and blah, 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 all that stuff is just going to eventually get played out? And do you think that it's, well, in some regard, already becoming one of those things where I've heard that already? Granted, Street Hems ver and Loso versus Fair Funeral and Juni the Rapper, super fire. We haven't seen, you know, two Christians team up to battle two chicks before. That was super fire, very entertaining. There were certain bars, though, in that where I was like, eh, I did the usual battle rap ending. Kind of heard that before, but at the end of the day, it was super entertaining. So I'm not saying it's not going to be entertaining in the future, but over time, I could see a lot of things just becoming recycled material that to the point where it's just like nothing's new. So let me know what you think. Christianity versus Christianity, religious versus religious, the Bible versus the Bible. Do you want to see it in the future?